How's it going? Let's get to work. Here's what we're gonna do. Focus! Focus! See you later. Teams with a lot of new players, Greg, this time of year can be a real challenge. Sure can. And just getting on the same... Time out, Cleveland. All right, fans. A train in for Jenny Austin. Make some noise. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thanks. I was able to talk with J.B. Bickerstaff for a minute. He told me it's always a challenge when you face a team this opportunistic. He said those guys are going to look to take advantage of any weakness. We have to really communicate defensively tonight. Guys, back to you. Yeah, thank you, David. Greg, real concerned about getting outshot early on. Uh, what do you think they can do to prevent it? Well, you have to find a way to stay attached to the shooters. That means fighting through picks and helping one another, which is going to take a lot of effort, a lot of energy. We could see them go to their bench early to try Two and stay fresh. Young's shot is off. The Cavaliers trail by four. You know, Smitty, I know it gets plenty of coverage, but Trey Young's raw talent as a score really is just up there on another level. It is. Trey Young's ability to post over 40 points in a game is truly something special. It takes a ton of confidence to have nights like that. But you know he's doing it all for his team and not just for himself. And Bogdanovich kicks to Young. Collins wide open. He fires. That's in coming off the assist from Young. I just love Trey Young's feel for the game. Oftentimes, he can see the play develop before anyone else. Love with the screen on Hunter. Here's Santos, and plenty of contact on the shot. So, 
at the line for your Cavaliers. It goes against Atlanta. Two An NBA a player who gained fame early in his life, Greg, was a bit of a social media star, though, during high school. I remember watching his stuff. MP has been posting clips of him playing since his high school days. He has a huge social media presence because of it. But some front offices question if it impacts his dedication to the game. Greg, we heard the rumors early in training camp. This team is a bit torn on their view of MP and how he should be used. Well, from what I heard, the front office loves him. But the man making the lineup doesn't agree, and it's become a point of contention. You wonder when MP will get a chance as a starter. Well, you can't ever accuse him. Going on to the floor for the Hawks. Time out, Cleveland. Hey, Thompson, they've been friends since they were eight. Imagine if they were teaming up on the court instead of the diamond. Even at eight years old, that's an inside out combo that probably could have dominated some high school teams. Rajon Rondo is up there with the coral. Then there's A Train, yeah, then there's right. Allen. That's and it's Austin in at the power Trey forward Allen. position. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavaliers. Rondo passes to Santos. Over in the corner, Austin. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. That one's in there. The Hawks lead is cut down to three on the bucket from Santos. Bogdanovic looking around. Young, right side. Hunter, no one around him. No good on the triple. And it's Rondo with the ball for Cleveland. Sets off a five-game tour for him. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. The layup off target. Outside, Bogdanovic. Pass to Young. Right side, Collins. No good with the triple. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. To the left side wing. Akoro passes to Allen. Here's Santos. Rebounded by Capella. The Hawks leading by three. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Atlanta Hawks are back. Last season, they won the Southeast Division for the first time in six seasons. With quality players in every position, things are starting to gel. Trey Young said, this feels good. We just have a lot of belief in each other. Guys, they are poised to be good for a long time. Well, they've clearly made the turn, David. Thanks. No good. That would have tied them. And that's one way to end up in the highlights. You know what we call this play? A dumb play all the way around, especially at this particular time. Capella sets a screen for Young. Driving in, and he makes good on the layup. Young. Young's got the lead up to five now for Atlanta. Another area where Young exhales, using the dribble to create space for his shot. Inside, and stolen by Hunter. Robbed up there for Collins. Trying to attack the heart of that defense with great teamwork. Cleveland's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Rondo passes to Santos. Driving inside. And the rejection by Collins. And another shot. Right there, the length of Collins proving to be the difference. Not in my house, he says. To the wing right side. And finish off by Collins. Assist Finding a little Trey rhythm Young. here that they have to like where they're at. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. Pass to Santos. Looking for Allen. He gets it there. Allen, a screen on Capella. Shot left block. Santos. Not going to go that time. Hunter with some nice defense. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. And Bogdanovic kicks to Young. Bogdanovic sets the pick for Young. Again, the Hawks good for two. 
Well, if it ain't broke, <laughs> don't fix it. They keep getting it in. Oh, the and it's a train in for Jenny Osman. He's gone one of one in the game so far from the line. How about up over the 80% mark from the line last year? So he's happy and also consistent there with those numbers. On the court for Atlanta, Gallinari is out there with Okongwu. Then it's Gorgie Dan. Then it's DeWan Wright. And it's Herter in at the two-guard spot. Nice look from Kevin. Intelligent and unselfish. Wright against Rondo. They swipe it. A wide open look here for Wright in Atlanta round. again with the bucket. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Hawks. They've been playing such pesky defense. It's been very impressive, especially all the turnovers they've caused. They have, but you also can't overlook how well they defended the rim as they challenged every shot and also gotten quite a few blocks as well. 34 seconds left to play here on the third. Colinari wide open and the three off target. The Cavaliers trail by 18. Rondo with the ball. Now guarded by Gallinari. Markinen passes to Santos. Markinen off the pick from Santos. And Cleveland with another turnover here. Going on to the floor for the. Substitution on the court. At the line for Cleveland. And we all know basketball is a game of runs, but uh, Steve, why can it so often seesaw like that? One minute a team is ice cold. The next, they can't miss. I think confidence is such a big part of the game. Also rhythm. When you see shots fall, it snowballs. On the other hand, when you can't take the lid off of it, that confidence can go another direction. They've got Sexton. He's out there with A-Train. And it's Love in at the five down low. So that's who's on the floor for the Cavaliers. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. Not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. And Clint Capella is going to pick up a foul. That's his first foul of the game. And the bonus will go to the free throw. Play movement is always a constant in the NBA. But with more players on the move every year, the power balance can shift in the blink of an eye. And we've seen it with the Lakers, right, just a few years ago. The Nets and a few others. Not everyone, though, loves it, but it sure keeps things interesting. Browns checked in for Cleveland. Jang with a Two screen on Sexton. Pat Donovich wide open. Hits it from three-point range. Donovich. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime, and they're doing a better job of creating space. To the middle. Here's Herter. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. Passes it to Stevens. And contact on the shot. At the line for your Cavaliers, Lamar Stevens, two shots. Both shots good from the strike. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the Hawks. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution Kevin by Carter. the players, everything was just on target. And so with this, they'll end up with their second win on the year. And they'll take the win tonight, setting the tone in the first matchup of this four-game season series. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for John Collins. When it comes to protecting the rim, there are numerous ways to do that. The most exciting at the line for your Cavaliers. Back. And that's Taking what he did tonight shots. in volume. The first free throw is good. That one is no good. They needed more from him there. Any point they can get is absolutely critical for them right now. J 
Chang, a screen. Five on the clock. The pass to Herter. For the three. Another three for Atlanta. Three Taking no chances. They go on one last run to seal the deal. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. Here's Steffens. Arkin in a screen on Hunter. And so it's the That's the end of the game. Some new faces and new places this year, Grant. How long do you think it takes for a new player to fit in? Well, you know, some players never... Into the Cavaliers. At the line for the Cavaliers. Boy, even beyond his signature look, Jarrett Allen is a true throwback big man uses his height to own the paint and just locks in on his strengths. Morris passes to Gordon. Now here's Jokic. Jokic with a screen on Sexton. Five to shoot. Murray, no good. And something else that really makes Allen a renaissance big is how he sticks to high percentage shots, Doris. Well, think about it. Field goal percentage at over 60%. He doesn't get outside himself. Two this guy earns his, he earns his money in the paint. Here's Osman, defended by Murray. Puts it up from the high post. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Denver in the lead. Pass to Jokic. Gordon outside. Jokic the screen. Gordon on the take. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Wow, incredibly quick feet of Aaron Gordon. This guy excels at seeing lanes to the rim and taking advantage. Here he goes. Here's Sexton. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. The Nuggets have got 7 of 15 to find the net. Inside, Gordon, the pass to Murray. From deep. The Cavaliers pull it in. Allen's got his fourth rebound in this one. I'll tell you, it has not been this guy's best night, but the Jimmy teammates Austin. have been there to pick up the slack. Love it. Well, he showed right there. This guy capable of making shots, especially if you leave him that wide open. Gordon outside. Pass to Porter. They kick it out to Murray. Back to Porter. For three. It's good. And the assist goes to Murray. Porter's got 11 points. Well, this guy has been efficient and effective all night. That IQ has been on display. Allen against Jokic. Here's a trade. Shot clock at six. Cleveland needs to get off a shot. Osman, no good. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. 
Jokic with it. And so it's the New Nuggets 20. Get the Nets. Please welcome your Denver Nuggets dancer. Into the Cavaliers. Time out to go. Green comes in for Naji. Michael Porter is checked in for Martin. And Murray subbed in for Morris. The Cavs trailing, setting the floor for the Cavaliers. Mobley and Allen together in the middle. Then there's Colin Sexton, and it's Stevens in a shooting guard. Pass to Mobley. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Here's a train. He's guarded by Porter. Down low. Here's Mobley. The three from Sexton. And it's Denver with a rebound. Jokic just got his sixth rebound on the night. Now Murray. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Jokic, no good. And for the Cavaliers, they're shooting just 38%. Their offense not where they want to be. Pass to a train. Here's Mobley. Here's a train. He's guarded by Porter. Sexton with it. Let's it go from deep. On target Call from range. Sexton. Sexton's got eight points. They're making a few more threes this quarter, trying to cut into that deficit. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hey, BA, the Cavaliers steadily rebuilding since LeBron's departure. Their win percentage has climbed season over season. Coach Bickerstaff said, quote, development takes time, patience, and understanding. But there's a clear vision of the process that we go through to become champions once again. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thank you. Pass to Jokic. And he's now one for four after that one. Inside the paint, Jokic has that physicality that can make the defense a non-issue. He can just muscle his way for a shot. Knocked away and out of bounds. Denver will have it. Who's ball? Nuggets ball. The Nuggets making a switch. Feeling good? Yeah, I am. I'm good, you man. Sure? And you look like you need some fresh air. Maybe you should take a walk. No, I'm good, bro. I actually, actually, you should go put on a fresh new outfit. You know, something flashy. Let the people see how you feeling. So this like a, a striker pose thing and not like a mental health thing? <laughs> like, I'm just saying, man, every time you step outside looking the way that you do, people are talking. They're posting pictures. First comment's always something like, oh my God, there's MP. Second comment, look at what he's wearing. Straight fire. Dog, every time that happens, we get one step closer to changing the game. I'm just saying, think it over.
So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content and if you saw the recent video interesting, share the comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You'll have a great day and peace out.